to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. One call, please. Supervisor Vecchio. Here. Councilman McCarthy. Yeah. Councilman Wareheim. Here. Councilman Quayton. Here. Councilwoman Noah. Here. Sitting as a Board of Water Commissioners, Mr. Quayton. You got it. Number one, approve the minutes of the town board meeting November 19, 2015. And the Board of Water Commissioners to authorize the following transfers. Number one, from contingency 17,796, to transfer 17,796 to the St. James Water Authority. Number two, transfer numerous transfers, year-end transfers within the Water District. Councilwoman Nowak? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. yes. I think Mr. Creighton read 17,796. That was 14,796. 14,796. Correct. Thank you. Reconvened as a town board. Supervisor DePoint, Joyce Putin-Darry, as secretary to the supervisor effective December 16, 2015. Under correspondence, Rotary Club of St. Town, go for the green, third reading. <coughs> Anybody wish to be heard for or against that reading? We'll move on. We have a building department report, which is on file with the town clerk for anyone's perusal. Public hearings, the town board to consider the town's entry onto certain real property located at 10 Fairview Avenue, Smithtown, in Suffolk County, reputedly owned by Fairview Holding Corporation for the purpose <coughs> of remediating and removing the structures thereat, which have been designated as unsafe in accordance with the unsafe, thing, unsafe building standard as set forth in Chapter 112-25 of the Smithtown Cone. Good afternoon, Mr. Supervisor, members of the Town Board. My name is Martin Simon. I'm an Assistant Town Attorney for the Town of Smithtown. The purpose of today's public hearing, number one, is for the Town Board to consider town's entry onto the real property at 10 Fairview Avenue for the purpose of remediating or removing the structures at that site which have been found as unsafe by our building director. Um, each of you has been provided with a copy of the December 14, 2015 inspection report. Uh, the building department went back out there yesterday, looked at it again, and there's also photos within that report of exactly what the site looks like today. In furtherance of that report in today's public hearing, we have Bill White, the building director here, and we'd like him to come up to just give the board a little more insight into the conditions at the site. Good afternoon, Ms. Supervisor and members of the town board. Um, yesterday, uh, Brian Heinrichs and myself uh, inspected the uh, subject property. Um, there was uh, some conditions that have changed um, some of the doors were bolted on the structure of the building, uh, securing some areas. Uh, there was additional graffiti on the ins uh, inspection noticed. Uh, noticed. Uh, additionally, uh, the gates were secured to the property. However, there still is access to the property along the uh, railroad uh, uh, platforms on the north side of the property. Uh, we submitted all the photos. If you have any questions, uh, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much. Someone wishes to be heard on this matter? Yes, Mr. Supervisor, John Haynes is here. He's one of the officers of the corporate property owner. Mr. Haynes. Wait, James, I don't recognize him. Mm. Good afternoon, town board. Um, most of you know me. Um, <clears throat> my name is John Haynes. Um, excuse me, I'm not really a public speaker, but I do have to speak to this, okay? Um, We've, we've uh, occupied a site since 1970. We've had legal issues on it, endless legal issues on it. I read in the paper it's an abandoned piece of property, all right? To date, I have over, in the last year, 200 emails to the town of Smithtown, between my attorney and the town of Smithtown. 
Um, we haven't done any remedial work on the property because nobody seems to have any interest in it. Um, we made an agreement that the town was to acquire the property. I had to do some, some testing, and um, the town had some testing they wanted to do. Uh, I did the testing. I put out my half of the money. It took the town over six months to pay their half of the money, whereas the contractor waited for that money. It took the town six, uh, five months to even look at the results of the testing. Okay. Um, I had $9,000 laid out, in excess of $9,000 laid out for that six months, uh, and I still have it laid out today. Okay. There is remedial work to be done on the site uh, as far as uh, test results. There are two catch basins that need to be cleaned up, it's, and it's very minor stuff. Okay. Um, but again, I have to lay out more money that I don't see being returned to me for years uh, due to the fact that I don't see anybody in the town or their departments wanting to move forward on this. I thought we had a resolution to the issue. I thought I was going to take down the building as you were going to take ownership of the property. Okay? And I still have that intention. But I cannot leave an open... I, I cannot take the buildings down today, okay, and have the eyesore gone because you have no motivation to begin with to bring this to a resolution. Apparently, I mean, I've done, I have endless, endless emails here nipping at people's heels to keep moving forward on every issue that we had on the table to that date. And it drags and it drags. I mean, a month and a half to decide how to get a ground test radar, ground penetrating radar test done, okay? A month to decide what parameters on the testing that you wanted me to do on it, okay? Um, <clears throat> uh, the, the results were supposed to be uh, delivered to the Suff Suffolk County Health Department as I furnished them to you. I furnished an electronic copy. It took the town's uh, legal department a month with my attorneys every day charging me money to, to text them or, or email them and find out where it was going. Okay? And then they told me they wanted a hard copy after a month, a month and a half. If you wanted a hard copy, it was no problem. I had a hand delivered in a day. Okay? I hand delivered a hard copy of the test results to Matt Lenkowski, uh, Lenkowskiewicz from your DEW. Okay? It sat on his desk for a month, almost a month and a half, and then I get an email back saying that there was a procedural error with Suffolk County. And it was never reviewed by the Suffolk County Health Department. Okay? Then you turn around and authorize your people to go out to a consulting agency. You spent more money to have them review the results that Suffolk County could have done. All right? Now I have to take the results and go back to Suffolk County and pay the $1,500 uh, review fees, which I really don't have a problem with if I'm going to see the money back when we change when you buy the property. Right? I haven't been able to, in 18 years, I paid my taxes, and I haven't been able to gain one ounce of income out of the property. Not one ounce. I've been over the property thousands of times to secure it, okay? Nobody wants any responsibility of, uh, they don't even call when a, there's works of art on the building. They're not graffiti. They took days, months for these kids to complete. And nobody has ever made a phone call to a police agency to, to respond. But yet every time I'm there closing up the building, one of my neighbors graciously will call up and say, somebody's working in the, in the property. And I see a, a building inspector, okay? Now last year we had a se severe winter, okay? I had one accessory building, the, the uh, roof fell in, okay? The bowling alley had the same issues, okay? It's not an uncommon thing, but it's on the ground already. I assumed the buildings were secured, all right? As soon as the building department told me they were not, I went over again, spent four or five hours over there. Scre I mean, I screwed the doors closed this time. I didn't put locks on anything, all right? I put three, uh, I, I put special locks on the gate so you couldn't hammer them open. John, can I interrupt you? You can. Okay. All that notwithstanding, the issue before this hearing is the necessary mediation of the things that are cited here. Will you take care of that? I will take care of whatever. I am not demolishing the buildings. 
No, that it, it doesn't talk about the miles okay. in the middle. If there's it a cross that has to be cleaned up, absolutely. Let me to finish. It talks about for the purpose of removing or remediating the front sign and canopy, which are in disrepair. Replacing the two front windows, two large front windows, which are broken. Removing the unsightly brown paper hanging in the front windows, as well as remediating the presence of the exposed electrical wiring at the subject site. So if you tell us here... Are, are, are you sure that's my premises you're reading? That's the wrong... Oh, that's, that's I'm the reading wrong. the wrong one. I apologize. It can't be because... For the purpose of remodeling and or removing the structure thereat, which have been designated as unsafe in accordance with the unsafe buildings. I mean, this is you, do, do, are you going to take care of that remediation? I'm not taking the buildings down. I, I told you just now. Okay. And and to okay. this fact, all right, I am an expert. I'm an eye, I'm an iron worker, a union iron worker in the city for the last 18 years since I stopped the sanitation business. Okay. I erect buildings, steel buildings, girders. Okay. And I am telling you that that structure is physically sound on the interior skeleton of it. It is not going to fall down. Okay. If you need, if I have to go and spend money on an engineering report, I will do so. However, I thought we had a resolution. I thought we were moving to transfer the property and demolish the buildings. Supervisor, now, can, can I just can address I make, that? Can please. I make a Wait, well, just finish your thought, please. Can I make a, re uh, a recommendation here? All right. With regard to the resolution, if I can get a liaison from the town board to oversee the process, okay, it may move along. Uh, I actually... What may move along? The we process mean? of transferring the property to the town. Can't take the problem is... The pro here's the problem. The problem is we have a few things that they want from me, okay? And I understand that. But if we can put them down on paper, put a contract together, I will go through them systematically, and at the end of the day, we'll transfer the title, and I will take those buildings down, sure as we're standing here. They do, do me no good. Okay. The Mr. Only Town thing Attorney? I'd just like to address the transfer of the property. It's approximately over a year ago we sent the environmental results to Mr. Haynes. We advised him that we were not going to move forward with the transfer until those environmental issues were addressed. It has now been over a year, and we have not heard anything about progress. We would have been glad to proceed with the transfer if those issues were addressed. Now, the purpose of this public hearing is the structures at the site. They've been determined to be unsafe by the building director. That does not, it's not limited to whether or not it's structurally sound. It encompasses a number of different items. Even if we were to take the, the buildings down, Assuming the environmental issues are addressed, we can still proceed with the transfer. That does not preclude us from proceeding with it. You understand that? I have, yes, I do. I have five folders here. I'd like to give them to the town board members. Okay. Um, in those folders are pictures of the parking lot next door to us. Um, He's alluding to parts of the code that it's an eyesore, it's obsolete. Well, it may be obsolete to you. However, to me, if I was to replace them and I had access to the property and I had exhausted all my legal options to that access, okay, um, the buildings are probably valued at over $150,000 just in the steelwork, okay? Granted, they're not probably in the finest shape right now, but it wouldn't take much to put them back together. It's only cosmetic stuff. It's like siding on your house, okay? Let me interrupt you a second. Am I incorrect to say that we've been dealing with this for the last couple of years? Three years, sir. You, okay. you appropriated funds. And the town board, I think, if my recollection serves right, was going to purchase the building and use the, the site for transfer development rights. Am I exactly. correct? And my further recollection is that when we went to do that, it were required some underground tests, no, in-ground tests, and it was determined that for lack of a better phrase, the ground is polluted. No, there's remedial work to be done. There's a okay. couple of higher levels of metals in them. And so that's why we waited for this yeah. long. Pat, that's not why you waited. Nobody even looked at the results. This is what I was going through in the first process for over five months. Mr. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is Mr. Jacobowski. I've never met you. It is, yes. Person. Uh, 
it is alluding to the fact that it was over a year that I had the results. I have an email in my possession of the first day. It was March 19th I was sent the results of that test. It was done on February 7th, okay, that I gave it to you, okay? Now, the reason that I haven't moved forward with anything is because I cannot turn around and do the remedial work if we're not going forward. I have no guarantees we're going forward. I have no way to, to have any guarantees I'm going forward, okay? And look, I was going to do the remedial work anyhow because eventually I have to do something with the property. But even if I knock down the properties, Pat, what are we solving? If I knock the buildings down, you have an open lot for kids to congregate. It's going well, to be no, overgrown. That's not, the, that's not the issue. We have an unsafe structure. That's the issue. Well, you're saying it's an unsafe structure. It is not. There was one roof that's on, it's on the ground already. It's not in danger of any of the other building falling down. You may not want to look at it because it's not so pretty, all right? But it is not unsafe, okay? I, I just went through this. My iron workers card is in there. I'm doing it 18 years. I know it. I build them, okay? And I'm certified to build them, all right? Um, it's not an unsafe structure. The wooden structure, it's an accessory building? Yeah, okay, the buildings, if you want me to take the roof out of there, I'll get some laborers, we'll pull the roof out of there, and it's gone, all right? But I thought what part of the building inspector, the chief building inspector, that building is unsound and unsafe. And that's what we need to go by. Well, you can go by it, I'll go get an engineering report, like, just like I said before. We can take that. Okay, I'll advise, uh, Mr. Town Attorney, I've moved to close the meeting, well, if you say so. Oh, does somebody else want to speak? I just do. I do want it on record, sir, that it I is am, on record. I am opposed to it 100. percent It is on record. Okay. Absolutely. Judith Weissman. John, when are you plan to do the remediation of the two well, of the wells that are bad? Excuse me. When, we, when are you going to do the remediation? I, I was planning on doing them. I just haven't haven't actually gotten. Do you know done. when? Do you have a time frame? Uh, you're talking about three thousand dollars. I need a super sucker in there in a day. Now, do you have a time frame? Uh, we could probably have it done before February. Because you're saying you're willing to take the buildings down yourself before you transfer title to the town. That was my point, anyway, but I, so I can't take them down. You know what I'm saying? But you got to clean the wells up to, to make the process Absolutely. go forward. Absolutely. So it can be transferred. Right. That's correct. And I understand that 100. percent It was my intention to do. I wanted to bring more focus to the property again because obviously it's been gotten it's gotten clouded. Okay, now the, this this uh, folder I gave you is the surrounding property. Probably within three months you wouldn't be able to see my my building because the piles of snow and road debris that'll be there, you won't even be able to see over them. How much time do you need to do this remediation? I said probably before February is over. And that's the pollution. How about you said you want, you're willing to rip all the um, aluminum skins off of the steel structure. How quick can you do that? Well, I'm not looking to do that. I'm looking to do that well, as Well, part of the contract was you got to tear them down anyway before we take it possession. Is. It is. And, and, you know, nothing for nothing. I, I, and I've I got to tell you, to my, to my own self, I've had people come to me that will do the demolition for the building, for the structure itself. Okay, this is why you can't tell me that it's an unsafe structure. <coughs> and I don't care what you say. <coughs> John, 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 John. You gotta look here. <coughs> look All right, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, Judith Weissman. <coughs> Hi, my name is Judith Weissman. I live at 16 Strong's Court, which my backyard directly abuts the property here. For the last 23 years, my neighbors and I have of course, you, you're aware, fought with the town and with Mr. Haynes over this piece of property. It's our understanding that this piece of property was zoned residential since 1932. According to Judge Bromley Hall in February of 1998, he ruled that it was indeed zoned residential. So my feeling is Mr. Haynes's point is mute. There shouldn't be a building on that property whether he's going to reconstitute it, make it something else, it shouldn't be there. It shouldn't even exist. The problem I'm having now, and I've been on the phone with Mr. Crichton about this, there is con it's a constant hangout. I have 14 grandchildren. They play in my backyard all the time. They have come to me and said, Mama, they're doing drugs back there. Mama, they're doing this. There's constantly people back there. I've called the Suffolk County Police numerous times. I have called town code enforcement numerous times. The, a homeless man died back there. It was on fire three times. There is no way 
Mr. Haynes can secure that property. It is an eyesore. It's an eyesore to my neighbors and myself. It's an eyesore to Smithtown. If you go on the train overpass, when you get off the train, welcome to Smithtown, because all you need to do is turn around, and there it is. It is a hazard. I don't care what he says. I don't care how long he's been working for the iron builders or whatever they are. It's a disaster. It's unsafe. It's been falling down for years. And, and some, somebody's got to do something. It's got to, 18 years, it was 18 years ago, it was ruled okay. residential. Thank you. We'll take into consideration what you've just said. Thank you. Anyone else? I'll move to close the hearing. Second. I think, I think I'm just supposed to go apart, but I'm here to promote the um, Well, not yet. Yeah. Oh. Not yet. Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilwoman Nowak? Yes. Okay. okay. Is there a point where you need to speak? Well, yeah. at the end of the meeting. I think it's at the end of the meeting. Why don't you take a seat? Second public hearing. Yeah. Town Board to consider the proposed amendment to Chapter 112 of the Town Code entitled Building Construction. Good afternoon, Supervisor and members of the Town Board. My name is Janice Hansen, and I'm an Assistant Town Attorney for the Town of Smithtown. The purpose of this public hearing is for the Town Board to consider proposed amendment to Section 11211B of the Town Code, which addresses building permit application refunds. The section currently provides for a refund of 50% of the fee paid if an application is not approved or is withdrawn and no construction has commenced. The proposed amendment would extend the refund provision to applications that have been amended as well. Uh, unless there are any questions, that concludes my presentation. No. Anybody on the board have any questions? No, thank you. I'll move to close the hearing. Second. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Okay. Next, town board to authorize a clerk to advertise the following bids. A bid for office cleaning services through January 14th, 2016. Xerox graphic paper, January 14, 2016. Cispool cleaning services, January 14, 2016. Councilwoman Newark? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Supervisor, you have yeah, uh, advertised, advertised for public hearing that you have to go back to on the first page. <coughs> Where was that? Okay. Okay. The well, town board authorized the clerk to advertise for public hearing to be held at 2 p.m. on January 5th, 2016, at the town hall. To consider the town's entry onto certain real property located at 1959 Main Street, Smithtown, said property to be purely owned by ADB management for the purpose of removing or remediating the front sign and canopy of your industry player, which I've read before, so we all know that. Somebody here on behalf of the owner? No, we're going to advertise the public hearing. Okay. Uh, Councilman, Councilwoman Nark? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchia? Town Board authorized the clerk to advertise for the following bids. Cleaning services. We did that already. Number two. Did we vote that? Yes. He did vote. We did vote it. Okay. Town Board to order the following bids and to authorize the purchase of associated goods and services. Bid number 15 for steel stock to Erlen of Long Island, Fleischer Tube, and Sim Steel. As for the bids opened on October 15th. Bid number 15066, lubricant, automotive lubricants to Miles Petroleum, Circle Lubricants, Black Bear Company, and Bilo Industries as for the bids. Opened on November 5th. Bid number 15064 <coughs> for removing processing of residential electronic waste to SAAMR Inc. Inc. as for bids received on November 19th. Further authorize the supervisor to sign an agreement on a form approved by the town attorney. Councilwoman Newark? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor? Yes. Item yes. number three, a town board to do study and deliberation of subject record to issue a secret negative declaration as per the items indicated below. Three, A, B, C, D, and E. For Comac Truck Stop, Smithtown Kia, Boulder Properties for Insignia, 
Costantini Realty, Comac PJ Venture for Cafe Corners, an application for transfer development rights for Sempre LLC. <coughs> Councilwoman Noak? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vice Yes. And uh, for the town board to approve the following as per 4 1 and then 4 B through you, Parade Run Walk Permit. Rotary Club Smithtown, that would be B. Town Board Regular Meetings, November 3rd, 2015, 2 p.m. Renewal rates, for HIP, HMO. Home for the Holidays Resolution to Waive Adoption Fees for Cats. <coughs> extension of Agreement to Help Sure Medical Services. Extension of Agreement for Professional Services at Wearin LFG Services. <coughs> the rejection of all bids of June 25th, 2015 in conjunction with bid number 15-041. Schedule a meeting for the year 2016. As per the attached schedule, I, town attorney, appropriate official to enter into stipulation of settlements as for the sole assessor. J, rescind resolution 2015-769. Upon resolution, do study a record, including the reported recommendation of a hearing officer in the matter of town of Smithtown versus employee 12011-3700 to impose penalties and charges. L, adopt payment processing merchant services procurement. M, rental rates for the highway department and extension of municipal co cooperative agreement oh an extension of agreement with trinity transport p appointment of donna rumatona secretary to the board of ethics of annual rate of pay of seven thousand five hundred dollars year effective december 16 2015 established sec salary of the secretary to the supervisor at ninety thousand dollars per year amendment of the services agreement of hasitech yos llc Extension of agreement with Island Tech Services LLC, extension of agreement with Total Technologies, and a sale of 0.6 density flow rights from the town's density flow bank. Councilwoman Noak? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becker? Yes. Town Board to approve the following zoning matters. As per 5A, the Town Board to approve zoning matter petition 2015 04 by Bola LLC. Operating Corporation 80 Stewart Avenue for change of zone from WSI to NB for property located on the northwest corner of Vanderbilt Motor <laughs> Parkway and Wicks Road as per the printed agenda. Councilman North? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vice Yes. yes. Okay. Town Board to authorize the controller to execute the following transfers, increase in revenue codes, and transfers, increase in revenue codes. All per item 6, 8, through W of the printed agenda. <coughs> Councilwoman North? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Number seven, the town board to authorize the supervisor to execute the following in a form approved by the town attorney as per seven A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Revocal or primary with the New York State Department of Parks and Recreation, continued services, casino, consulting, contract between County of Suffolk and the town of Smithtown for your nutrition program for the elderly. D, agreement for rapid armored car transport corporation. E, term extension of intermunicipal agreement with multiple villages for the fire marshals. F, agreement for James Faith Entertainment to provide entertainment services for the summer concert series. And G, professional services agreement with room networks. Councilwoman Noak? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Town board to approve the following settlements. In the following matters per recommendation of the town attorney, as per 8B, C, D, E, F, and G, I'll read the amounts, $2,500, and $5,150. Councilwoman Noah? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. yes. The town board to authorize release to authorize the acceptance. I'm sorry, of the following as per 9A through G, a donation, a donation, donations, cashier's check, TD bank check, cash donation, and a Chase bank check. Councilwoman Noah. Yes. Councilman Creighton. Yes. Councilman Wareheim. Yes. Councilman McCarthy. Yes. Supervisor Becky. Yes. The town board to approve the following personnel matters as 10A through U, a transfer or a promotion, promotion living wage, full-time appointment, a change of status, a change of status, a change of status, a full-time appointment, a leave of absence, promotion, 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 accept the volunteer services, 
a part-time appointment, a part-time appointment, a change of status, seasonal appointment, part-time appointment, leave of absence, and full-time temporary appointments. Councilman Minot? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wellheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Town Board to authorize the following amendments to the Uniform Traffic Code and authorize the Traffic Safety Department to install and maintain the necessary signs as per <coughs> A, Schedule G, stop and yield intersections. Councilman Minot? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Yes. I have two resolutions which are not on the printed agenda. One is a budget modification for the animal shelter in the amount of $2,536 and increase the amount for special programs by the same amount. Councilwoman Newark? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Next one is... Uh, Robin Murphy, Superintendent of Highways, to enter an agreement with the State of New York for the purpose of snow removal operations on state-owned highways within the jurisdiction of the town of Smith Town Borders for the 2015-2016 season <coughs> on forms approved by the Office of the Town Attorney. Councilwoman Newark? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. That concludes uh, agenda items. Uh, before we close, I'd like to say uh, on behalf of the town board and, and I'll call her up on behalf of the town board and the citizens of Smithtown to thank Mr. Creighton for his service to the town of Smithtown and wish him well. Um, Susan? Hi, I'm, I'm Sue from the Smithtown Animal Shelter and I'm here to promote our Home for the Holidays special. And uh, our shelter currently has 70 cats, five dogs, four roosters, three hens, and a partridge in a, oh, oh, never mind about the partridge. No. Um, but all these animals are looking for homes. And um, with me today are two beautiful kittens. Yeah, it's pretty. You want a pet? Take her home. This little beauty here, it's a little kitten. Uh, she's approximately three months old. Uh, she's been spayed, vaccinated, and dewormed. <coughs> and uh, right now we're having a special um, two for one on kittens. Uh, what that means is that uh, kitten adoption typically costs eighty-five dollars. But now, for a limited time only, through January second, uh, you can get two kittens for the price of one. Uh, in addition, we're waiving the adoption fees entirely for our adult cats. So uh, this holiday season, please remember, uh, don't shop, adopt, and visit the uh, Smithtown Animal Shelter at 410 East Main Street or call us at 360-7575 and have a very happy holiday. Susan, why in the spirit of Christmas won't you do both of them for free? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it is Christmas. Yeah, okay. It's gift card. Okay, town board would like Well, to. I have moved to prove that resolution to for her to allow the sale of those two kittens. For free. For free. Okay, Second. great. Thank you. Okay, thank you. But, you, you know, you Supervisor yes. Vecchio? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilwoman Newark? Yes. That's it. I spoke to Joe Arrigo Parks uh, Department asking them about the uh, Nesconset Library Park. We have this shredded black tires on it that is really disgusting. And he said he would bring it to this meeting, but I see he's not here and I don't hear him talking about it. So I have a petition of 80 people who don't want it either. It's okay. really terrible. My granddaughter had it in her mouth, her ears, her nose. It's disgusting. We hate it. Mm -hmm. And I called once the town and Whoever answered said, nobody else complained. I said, it can't be. So I went to the park three days. I got 80 signatures. And he's not here. No, but it's OK. But I understand that he's working on a substitute material. I didn't. He, I haven't heard of him. Well, now we're saying it. Oh, great. OK? Good. So as soon as that he can get his handle on that, he'll put in the new stuff. Really? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the best Christmas present ever. Would you like to get <laughs> I got four grandchildren under five. Yeah, just, uh, you got to make a motion to close the meeting. A motion to close the meeting. Yeah. Super, Supervisor Vecchio, yes. Councilman McCarthy. Yes. 
Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. And Councilwoman Noah? Yes.